Hello, hello, guys. Um, it's Illusion here, and um, I just saw the Mario movie, the Super Mario Bros. movie, and um, wow, what a time. Um, so um, for this um little like review, I'm going to be doing. Um, I actually don't have like skipped out. Um, it's just going off of my wild emotions. Me, you know, just seeing it, just come out the theater, you know, you know, just what I remember and how like I'm generally feeling. Um, this will be like a spoiler review, I will say. Um, because um, I feel like I feel like non making non spoiler stuff is like so hard. <laughs> Which um, I guess in a way like it's so weird because like, I guess it's technically not not to spoil, but like at the same time, there's like a lot of like, crazy stuff that happens. So um, if you're like a mega fan, um, I understand you know you not wanting like you know a spoiler review, and if that's the case, um, I highly respect that, and I highly respect you guys now not watching my video, but this will be a spoiler review, so I did want to you know warn you guys and be respectful to that. But with that said, let's um actually start talking about the movie. All right, that's a go. All right. So um man, the movie was so like good. It was packed with nothing but um amazing like, references like Mario. It was like such like the love letter to like the whole like series. Um, people from like you no know, Bowser, Mario, Peach, um, all like the Donkey Kong crew was all like like everyone was like amazing. It's not someone that I think I hated in the movie. Like everyone was barely like a jewel. And um, speaking of um the characters in particular, I think I, I think that's how I want to start this video. I think I'm going to start talking about the characters. Um, and first we start with a man in action. Um, our main man, Mario, voiced by Chris Pratt. Um, so like about like this Discord about like Chris Pratt's voice. Um, I knew like um just from the track like, alone, like I think that um he was going to do like a better job. Um, I was telling people that you know once you guys see like the movie, um, you guys got to go and realize that um this was the best call him the voice that he did was the best call you know him like sounding like how mario sounds like in the actual video games for over an hour will become irritating and um this is the best in safe naked middle ground and the voice that they land on in the film i thought was very um interesting it's actually kind of quite cool because in the beginning of the film um and we've seen this like in the trailers but um they film like this um Mario plumbing thing. <laughs> Mario Super, Super Mario Bros. and plumbing with um and Luigi as um commercial, and um that's kind of like one of the opening sequences to um the actual film actually, and um they actually had they actually have like a joke of them um talking about um their heavy app access and saying is this good, <laughs> so I think that's kind of like funny that like in a way I'm kind of like aware, but um no his normal voice throughout the movie sounds like amazing. I think he got too much hate. You guys are gonna love his voice personally, and, um yeah but Chris Pratt he did like a, such a great job like you know. You know, really um sink into like the whole like Mario character, and um he's really like heroic and courageous. Um, he's you know, and he really cares about his friends. You know, a lot of things that um Mario um is like known for in the games. <coughs> it's so like great, and um his um counterpart, young know, Luigi, um voiced by Charlie Day. Charlie Day, um I love him from like Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, he did like an amazing job as Luigi. You know, the scary cat Luigi is. You know, with screams and the failing. Um. But um, it, no, it wasn't nothing like overbearing. It was just like just the right amount. So like, if anybody's like worried about that, it was just like the right amount. Like, he did like a really um great job. And he actually had like a really great um action sequence in the movie of him being chased by dry bones. Um, this was also hinted at in the trailer. But um, it's like you know it's clear the whole movie. So like it extended, so you see the like, whole sequence, and it's so good and engaging. I love it. And um, yeah. Um, next I want to talk about Peach actually. So Peach, um, voiced by um Anne Taylor Joy, she was um, and I'm actually gonna I'm not gonna do like every character because I'd be here um just doing this like forever. But um, I will do like the main characters. But yeah, Peach, Peach was really good. She was really, 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 really good. I liked how the um, I I really liked this depiction of Peach. Um, especially like you could like a lot of personality. Um, it's like in the trailers, like you see her like um really like defending herself and like you know sticking up for her own like self. You know, you know with and without Mario. You know, and I love that direction. She's very much changed from her um typical damsel in distress. You know, mindset that um you know because like back then you know when Mario was being made, you know that was like you know the big thing, the whole damsel in distress thing. You know, norms and stuff was like you know. Highly shaken up in that regard when it comes to um, I guess what Nintendo want to do like really, but um, yeah, like they kind of like, move past this. Says hey, this kind of thing's kind of like outdated. Let's like change Peach up, and it's not like that she's actually different, but like you know, she has like more like personality and like more like 
it's such like a fiercest like with like Peach. Like Anne Taylor did like a good job like voicing her. And um I like how Peach is actually the one when um Mario actually came to her castle and um she um Mario had to prove to herself that um if he wanted to come along with the journey that um he had to be um up to the task. She actually um was trained and raised by the toads. And um she actually came and this is um another thing like kinda going in, going into like the other stuff, but um she actually was trained by the toads. And I love that and she was um and it's helped imply that um that she might came from the human world or she might came from some world that she mentioned. I like how she mentioned that um when they were near like the like the whole like patch the whole like um what value of like um some flower um power up um flowers she mentioned like um she is posse from like anywhere she doesn't really know and um she actually looks up to the sky and i find that really interesting because this like this like this thing with like her and like rosalina being like her mom so like i find that so cool like so so cool but like no like um she was trained by the peach by the um toad and whatnot and she became like strong and willing but also like gracious and sweet and like you know willing and up to the task to be like the, the princess peach princess of the mushroom kingdom and i love that for her so like you see her like um like going through like the course that mario had to go through to prove to her that um that he was up to the task like you see her like jumping over the blocks like just going crazy like that sequence was so well animated like they look real so cool i just love how they make her look so cool like throughout like the whole like film like she's doing like a lot of the action like with the different like power ups like the fire power the um the ice flower power like so many cool 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 stuff like the Mario Kart scene but I'm gonna talk about that later all, all together but the Mario Kart scene was amazing she did amazing on that so yeah that was Anton and Julia's Peach so good great depiction one of my favorite characters um next uh, Jack Black as Bowser oh my god that scene when he was singing <laughs> <laughs> the peach, 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 the peach, peach. Oh my God, that that's great stuff. Like they knew what they were doing when they cast um that, um Jack Black. They said we're gonna make you do the most ridiculous stuff, and um you are going to sing and you're gonna act like so crazy, and you're gonna make it so like outlandish and make it so like him. <laughs> like like Bowser like singing like oh my God, this is such like a Jack Black like moment. But you pretty much just feel like Bowser. Isn't like that. It's just like. It's not just um Black, Jack Black's like voice, and it's not like you know just Jack Black, you know, being you know Bowser, um, or you know just Jack Black being Jack Black. I mean, um, he is very much like Bowser, and um, he does put on like an interesting voice because he's really good at voice acting. His voice is really like slight, like deep, and um, actually no, it's not even slightly deep. It's like very much deeper. I feel, and it's like this um ferociousness and like aggression whenever he talks like as Bowser. Like he did like such a good job like embodying him, and I like how they characterize Bowser or what you know he does on his off time when he's not like capturing Peach here, you know, and he's just at his capture like party, you know, like the rock session party, like you know just the general party of them, you know, in the um Bowser Kingdom, <laughs> the um the many the many scenes like. I think there's like around like three or four scenes of him being on the piano, which is so so funny. Um, <laughs> his sweet, you know, nature of him trying to you know, you know impress like Peach whenever Peach was around, like it was so good. He did like such a great job, and he was so hilarious. Like even like um the the scene where like, uh, with him and um what's the guy the guy's name um Kamek yeah Kamek. Yeah, like him and like Kamek like together, like and Kamek was like Peach <laughs> the whole time, and like um they're like kind of like vote, vo they were kind of like um, practicing like the wedding vows and whatnot. <laughs> like it was so funny. So like yeah, Jack Black was amazing, and I'm and why I'm and I might as well talk about Kamek too because like he was like in the film like he's like a side character, but he's kind of a man, so I won't talk about it too much. You know, he did a really good job. I think he's voiced by um Kevin um. Michael um, Richardson, he did a really, really good job. Like, he was like pretty like, hilarious. He did his like magic stuff and whatnot. Really, really, really fun character. And I'm um, not uh, much to say because like, like, he's like a side character, but um, yeah, he was pretty good. He's pretty good. Alright, next Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong. Um, very, <laughs> very, very funny character. Again, amazing captain by Seth Bogan. Just like Jack Black, he was so funny and so, um, and so like bombastic like I don't, I don't know how to describe it like he was just like he really like a one for like um when um peach and um, mario actually got to um peach mario and toad because um toad actually um comes like along with him on um, peach um toad and um mario like the um got to like the um dk kingdom they actually um 
got to um, to the point where um you see like also shows in trailer like people he has the um challenge like Donkey Kong's um King Kong kid um which is Donkey Kong and um I like um how like um there's so much apes like so many monkeys and apes like they had like the whole crew like even like people that we hadn't seen before I believe um yeah people like I feel like I saw Dixie in the background um they definitely did make a reference to Diddy um Diddy is in the film once again <laughs> um once again spoilers um like I've been saying if you know that is uh, some, something that's in the film Diddy is in the film and he is so funny <laughs> like he's not there for a lot but what you did show up when um whenever they called like these um um did he some name um it was really funny <laughs> um but yeah like so fun did like an amazing like, job and then he went along and put the adventure with them and tagged along to like stop like bowser um and to save his that queen cog towards the end you know because yeah, um, a lot of the um, Kong got um, captured by um, Bowser and got put into those um, cages and it got thrown with a life with the like lava and stuff like that. Um, I thought that was really um, hilarious. Oh, yo, also, while I'm on it, before I go to the, the next person, I have to talk about Seth um, and DK. Um, the little Luma, like guys, the little Luma in the um, cage, he was so funny and but so cute and adorable, but then it, but also scary at the end, like, um. <laughs> Because I guess like, and I also wonder like now I'm thinking about it on why he was so like carefree. Like he didn't care that he was in like a dangerous um, situation or about to like die. I wonder if he didn't care because he was a Luma. I wonder if Lumas are kind of like you know indestructible things because they're from like you know the galaxy. And um, it would make sense why he didn't like care about it and was very really carefree. He probably wouldn't have not even died if the love touched him. I feel like because <laughs> now I guess they can't get like hurt. I guess the Lumas, but they I feel like they're. Aren't like limbs like virtually like indestructible? So wouldn't they make sense? Like they're all stars. They're all basically stars, so you know, it makes sense. Um but yeah, Lim was so funny and like toward, like I said, towards the end of the film where like um where like he had that scary moment I was like, hey, is everything actually fine? Like it was so crazy, like that was so unexpected, it was so funny. But um yeah, um about Seth Rogen, um yeah, he did like such a great job at Sun Kong. Um I also like that about like the Kongs like in general, how um they are kind of like the, the originators of the cards because like they made all the cards like in their big city um and oh my god each city look beautiful like the like peaches like mushroom kingdom like even like bowser's like the lava like fortress like even that looked amazingly stunning like it was amazing like um the skate stuff like with um, luigi like the whole like um skate forest like the booze like it was so good so good but yeah, like the Kongs were like, I didn't know like the Kongs, like, they, I don't know if this is probably knowledge, but I didn't know the Kongs were like responsible for making like the cards and stuff. And like, um, that's like the lore of them, you know, and they, um, actually have, um, the little Mario Kart creators like, at the, um, like DK Kingdom, like Mario and Peach and like everyone, like doing like, before like the, um, whole like big Mario Kart sequences, they, um, made like the cards that they, um, use in the games. And I thought that was such a cool, like, little detail. And they kind of like, had like a Mad Max moment on the, um, <laughs> Rainbow Road fighting like you know Bowser's like goons and stuff versus like you know the DK crew and Peach Mario and you know stuff like and, and Toad and whatnot stuff like that was just so good like it's just so amazing um okay so um yeah was, oh yeah and then there was the Penguin Queen like voice by NKIP and you know very minor role again but like he was really, really like funny um I feel so sad. Like they tried so hard like to fight against like Bowser's like um little army. <laughs> but like they did nothing to Bowser. Like they're like little like penguins to pick screeds pick screeds, so like they didn't really do much. That was so funny though. I felt so bad for them though. Felt very really bad. Um Oh yeah, and then Toad himself. Yeah, because I've been mentioning Toad when I'm talking about other characters, but um Toad himself. Um so I don't know, like I am curious, did he voice like all the toads in the film? Like, did he actually do other voices of the Toad to film, but did they, I guess they would just, like, slightly, like, alter, like, his voice? Or was, like, different people? I need to, like, look that up, but, um, yeah, like, he did, like, such an amazing job as the main Toad. And, um, you know, he's very, really, like, joyful, like, um, he kind of, like, really, like, inserted himself to, like, a lot of situations, because, like, um, he kind of jumped on to, like, being, like, um, Mario's friend a bit too fast, and Mario said, um, am I really your friend? <laughs> like, we just met. But, um, yeah, but he did eventually become, like, actual friends, you know, throughout the journey, and, like, he... Um, got like a fondness of you know, told and whatnot, and um, 
yeah, like um, Toad was, he did like a video, an amazing job. Toad, I'm mean, Kingdom Mike Key, like um, he did a video he created on him. He's funny and as he should because he he's like a video really fun comedian, comedian with um Peel. <laughs> Love that like a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as the main main cast goes, um, that's who I really want to like really talk about as um the main cast. Um. Oh yeah, and then I guess this is like a small like dull thing. I'm not talking about people and voices, but um, I saw like Ashley Birch in the um the credits and said additional voices Ashley Birch. So I was like, wait a minute, Ashley is in in this film. I was like, oh, I wonder who did she voice? Because it didn't say specifically. She just said additional voices. So I think that's kind of cool. That she, you know, she was actually in the film doing stuff. Um, so um the actual film um like I said, the people were saying um in critics because like that's like another thing. Critics um they did like the creative things and I completely like expected it. Um they kind of like bombed it like um the Ron to me is because I guess it is an unthinned film and then and it sounded like they wanted this grand like narration and like you know this huge like story like Mario, but um. I don't think that's necessary for this first film, and I don't think that would even make sense for the Mario like brand. Like Mario story is very um simple and to the point. Mario, the Bowser gets captured like Peach or attempts to capture Peach, and this is like whole like wedding thing, and want to you know her to make mayhem and be into him, and um Mario has to save her or the Brown or save Mario or save Luigi. The Mario even hates Peach or even saves Luigi, and it's been like that for like years with like the games or both Mario and Peach um. Go on adventure with Mario sometimes they change it up. But um so yeah the Mario um movie when it comes to like um that big story is nothing different. But um it's not entirely like this bear 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 like bones to either. Like people were, but the basically uh, how people described it is like it was like sequence like after sequence with the movie with no like cohesion. It was it was like the simple like um Mario plot but it was there, you know, with Mario having to like try to impress like, you know, Brooklyn but most of all like his family who doesn't take him or like even like Luigi, I feel even because they were a bit nicer to Luigi, but I feel like they weren't like, completely like, nicer. But um, him and his family, um, Mario, um, they don't, they don't, they didn't really um take Mario like seriously. And Mario felt like he had to like prove something, and he did. He came back like towards the end of the movie when um Bowser and Peach became into like you know the real world. Um, nothing like I will. It's not like live action, which I want to mention too. Um, it's not live action, but um, they go into like um. The actual world away from the Mushroom Kingdom, and um, they kind of like save Brooklyn from being like, destroyed like um by Bowser and like in his own mutants, and they prove to um his family and um um to Brooklyn that um they can do it, and um I think there's like a really like nice message there for kids, you know, too, you know, to never give up um on your goals um and even when people are discouraging you, discouraging you um even when it's your family um you can like put them on or like you know or you know kindly show them you know hey um this is something i want to like do um i want to start after this thing and i just completely like this useless person i'm not like that and um yeah they had stuff like that that um mario had to like go through and whatnot and even like little like backstories like peach you know with her like you know from a baby being raised by like the toad you know not always be like this person <laughs> that's funny, Mushroom King. I thought it was really like cool. Like, um, like that's like the thing. Even though the narration was, you know, this big grand thing, um, there was like some stuff to it. Um, this movie, um, if anything, focused on the characters, characterization of like the Mario characters by these um, amazing actors who did like an amazing job. And it's more so about the, you know, the character moments and the adventures they have more so than the overarching story. And um, I think that's an okay approach. Like that's what Mario always has been like about, and it still works in movie form too. Like you know, um, Mario like saved the day for the Mushroom Kingdom in Brooklyn. Uh, they stopped them by also conquering each uh, of the um, areas of the um, Mushroom Kingdom, but also like you know the whole fictional um, world of the Mushroom Kingdom, like lands in general. Um, and like yeah, like it was really really cool. Very, very cool and very very straightforward and um of course like the whole movie like he the whole thing is like he's just trying to like retrieve um luigi back and i like how um once again it switches it up and like it puts like peach like next to mario and um she's the one he has to teach mario before he has to go to on this like a big like adventure and i really really love that angle and it's her peach and toe like going on this big like adventure together to retrieve luigi but also try to like stop like an bowser for taking out the whole kingdom while also um putting him like, like, you know, main Peach, which she does not want to do. And, like, like I don't know. 
I thought it was okay for what it was and the thing with them making it like this it reaches lose more opportunities in the future like um which I'm, I'm about to mention now um this is teacher this teaser at the end of the movie because it is like post image scenes there's a teaser with um with Yoshi yeah it has the Yoshi eggs and he comes out of it and um that's like an amazing like, thing for like, the next movie or what it can do it can be even like a big adventure with like Yoshi's Island and stuff like that so like, um I don't know I feel like this movie and that version like they probably needed needed like what with what it did it needed to be that like it needed for, for what a Mario movie um had to be it needed it did what it had to do was what I'm saying and so I feel like I'm um, people are being a bit too hard at in the credits and I like how other people are also agree with me too because um the user scores um, across the board have been way more positive and um fans alike and like even people with like passive knowledge will like just love this movie for like the amazing adventure and amazing like a love letter to um the whole Mario series that this is and every aspect from galaxy like there's so much like the easter eggs and behind the scenes like not behind the scenes but like, and the background of the movie was so 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 good so 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 good yeah like a lot of like um odyssey stuff like you can see like i was aware like the odyssey um wedding thing stuff and whatnot like you see like bob mom and like all these people like attend like the wedding just like they did in the odyssey game <laughs> um like king pete was there like so much good stuff like um you had like um sunshine stuff in the background um stuff from RC like the RC like shop stuff in the background like so many references packed to the brim in this movie and speaking of this movie like it was so fast paced like the pace was so engaging from the beginning like when they were in the um him world in the beginning because like that's how the movie actually like starts off is that um they're actually um because Mario and Luigi is this this is like a basic like, origin story Mario and Luigi are actually from the human world and like even the human world stuff was so interesting because like I actually want to see this like in action see like Mario's like family and stuff like that before they actually um found like the Mushroom Kingdom which is actually under Brooklyn the Brooklyn pipes like that's that was so smartly done by the way too like the Brooklyn pipes um basically um the, the Brooklyn had like this big um flooding of pipes and Mario and Luigi had to fix it and the green stuff is in the green pipes bore down under the city in the sewers and they had to go to there to go to my to the mushroom kingdom or in the different kingdoms and i love that which by the way that's that tunnel sequence was so beautiful it showed the different kingdoms and the different tunnel ways to that so so creative so so creative and also the movie looks so beautiful like the animation is so top notch like the fight scenes were so well not fight but the action scenes that have the heavy action scenes or like the racing and like in the general fights especially towards like the end of the climax like it was so good like um oh my god like um Cat Mario like fighting like DK like it was so like the action scene was so well done and like clever and like funny like this movie was such an amazing love letter to the series and I could not have asked for more like the music like um they both used like they used them um, licensed stuff and they used like the music tracks um, I like not, and I don't feel bad about it. Like it doesn't like bother me that they actually use like real stuff, cause um they played more Mario than the stuff in original like Mario mixes and orchestra stuff than the um actual like light stuff. And when they played light stuff, I thought it was like fun and, and cool, and I thought like it fit, especially since like this whole movie it takes place between like the Mushroom Kingdom and the real world. So the fact they actually mix that together actually made sense to me for me and my perspective. That's just me. But, um, you know, if you don't like like stuff, like you know, I'm not gonna hop too much on it. Like, you know, it's everybody's opinion, but that just didn't bother me as much. So um, yeah, I feel like I've been rambling like all this time, and um, because like like I said, I don't really like do like um reviews. So, um, I'm not like um get like 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 breaking things into like parts. Like, I'm so sorry if this was like frantic, but um, yeah, just just like my my general thoughts about the movie. I think it was like amazing. Um, definitely like a nine out of ten in my in my opinion. Definitely like a nine out of ten, because I'm. Um, and I want to give it like a 9 because like I said, it wasn't like, the mo for my movie, it did what it needed to be. Like there's nothing like inherently fucking up wrong about it. But like, you know, the endless possibilities in the future is so like big and they can go, you know, they can go even bigger, bigger you know. So I'm going to leave it with a 9 out of 10. Um, thanks so for watching this video, guys. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys later. Tell me what you guys thought about the movie in the um, description below. Um. And also tell me you guys um for movies that I might like that's like gaming or anime related or whatever. Like, you know, 
tell me if you guys will want me to like review like movies more. May movies more. Maybe this might be something that I do often in the future. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, please turn the notification bell on for more stuff and more notification and notifications about videos I'm gonna do in the future. And yeah, um, listen, um, I'm gonna say have a good day to you guys now, and um, hope you guys have like a really really great time with like um your movie um going experience if you go to the movie. All right, I'm gonna see y'all later. Bye bye.